SPM, Form 4, Chemistry. Chapter 4, Periodic Table, of Elements. In this video, we will summarize, the expected learning outcomes, of Chapter 4, Periodic Table of Elements, in the form of concept map. In this chapter, we will learn more about periodic table, we will learn the pattern of arrangement, the characteristics, and reactivity of the element, in the periodic table. There are six main sections in this chapter. 4.1, The Periodic Table of Elements. 4.2, Group 18, Elements. 4.3, Group 1, Elements. 4.4, Group 17, Elements. 4.5, Elements in a Period. 4.6, Transition Elements. In Section 4.1, we will learn about the periodic table of elements. At the end of this section, you should be able to describe the contributions of scientists in the historical development of the periodic table, identify groups and periods in the periodic table, state the basic principle of arranging the element in the periodic table from their proton numbers, and relate the electron arrangement of an element to its group and period, explain the advantages of grouping elements in the periodic table, and predict the group and the period of an element based on its electron arrangement. In section 4.2, we will learn about elements in group 18. At the end of this section, you should be able to list all group 18 elements and state in general the physical properties of group 18 elements. Describe the changes in the physical properties of group 18 elements. Describe the inert nature of elements of group 18. Relate the inert nature of group 18 elements to their electron arrangements. And relate the duplet and octet electron arrangements of group 18 elements to their stability. Describe uses of group 18 elements in daily life. In section 4.3, we will learn about elements in group 1. At the end of this section, you should be able to list all group 1 element and state the general physical properties of lithium, sodium, and potassium, describe changes in the physical properties from lithium to potassium, and list the chemical properties of lithium, sodium, and potassium, and describe the similarities in chemical properties of lithium, sodium, and potassium, relate the chemical properties of group 1 element to their electron arrangements. Describe changes in reactivity of group 1 elements down the group and predict physical and chemical properties of other elements in group 1. State the safety precautions when handling group 1 elements. In section 4.4, we will learn about elements in group 17. At the end of this section, you should be able to list all group 17 elements and state the general physical properties of chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Describe changes in the physical properties from chlorine to iodine. List the chemical properties of chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Describe the similarities in chemical properties of chlorine, bromine, and iodine. Relate the chemical properties of group 17 elements with their electron arrangements and describe changes in reactivity of group 17 elements down the group. Predict physical and chemical properties of other elements in group 17. State the safety precautions when handling group 17 elements. In section 4.5, we will learn about elements in a period. At the end of this section, you should be able to list all elements in period 3 and write electron arrangements of all elements in period 3. Describe changes in the properties of elements across period 3. State changes in the properties of the oxides of elements across period 3. Predict changes in the properties of elements across period 2. Describe uses of semi-metals. At the end of this chapter, section 4.6, we will learn about transition elements. At the end of this section, you should be able to Identify the positions of transition element in the periodic table and give examples of transition elements. Describe properties of transition elements. State uses of transition elements in industries. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.